To customize the subgrid, to change and arrange the columns displayed, we'll first want to go to Settings, Customizations, and then Customize the System. We'll then go to the entity that we'd like to insert the subgrid on. So we'll expand Entities and then choose Company. And we'll choose to insert it onto the general form. We'll then choose to insert it underneath primary contacts. So we'll go to insert, subgrid. And the name for the subgrid will be contacts since we like to show all the related contacts to an account. Now there are a few different ways you can customize the view. You can go directly to the entity that the subgrid is about. So in this case, you would go to the contact entity to create the new view. Or on the page that we're on now, you can select new here to create a new view. But it's important to note that once the subgrid is created, you'll have to go to the view section of the entity that the view is about. So in this case, if you'd like to make changes to the view, then you'll have to go to the contact entity to make changes. So we'll select the contact entity, and then we'll select new to create our new view. We'll then call this view account contacts. And just like creating any other view, this is where we'll add and arrange the columns. So I'll select add columns, and I'll choose to add the email, company name, and business phone number. So once we've selected our desired columns, we'll press OK. And I'll choose to move the email to the left. I'll then save and close. Then we'll select the account contacts as our default view. And then press set. Now we can save and publish our changes. So now that we're back at the general company form, we can see the subgrid that we've inserted along with our customized view. And that's you can create a custom view for your subgrid.